So my name's Dan Tucson. I'm going to introduce you to the East Kent Landscape Valleys project area. We're standing in the Lydon Valley, which is one of the valleys within the area, and we're going to take you through the valley and show you all the restoration and creation work we're doing for wildflower grasslands, working with farmers over long timescales to build up a really continuous, diverse suite of grasslands like the one we're standing in today. So we're standing here in the start of the valley system and this is a good spot to demonstrate uh, a range of different techniques that we're using to create and restore wildflower grasslands. It also is a good, good place to demonstrate the different types of management techniques that are going on to manage the grasslands and it also shows off how three farms all in this sort of small area all working together to, 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 to create the scale of habitat. So the field we're standing in has been enhanced with uh, green hay on, on a lot of the field and already we're getting plants like uh, Devil's Bit Scabious is in the sward here, marjoram and, and milkwort. There's also, also been enhanced by a bit of uh, native wildflower seeding. This was arable 15 years ago. And then on the bank there in the distance you can see the strips. Uh, that's a more recent seeding project done with a different farm and that's, that's just in its early stages. And then on the top bank there we've got a, another a different farm again that's done some wildflower seeding that's three or four years old now and is coming through quite well and then in the valley bottom here we've got a uh, in the next door field we've got a, a good example of a longer established native wildflower seeded sward that's really uh, in, its, in its, its sort of full glory now this time of year. So now we've moved into the next door field this is a 20 hectare field um, it's been strip seeded with native wildflowers done over two, two phases in two years and you can really now see after three or four years how the wildflowers have established very well and there's great insect abundance in here now. We're even picking up serotine bat which is using the, the meadows um, to pick up and hawk for insects. So we're now moving into the central section of the valley on one of the farms and this is a good example of a native provenance wildflower mixture. It was arable land before but we've taken the opportunity uh, with this farm to do quite a few of these sorts of mixes and plots um, and this is a really good example of a seven eight year old established plot uh, that's really helping to connect up this part of the valley. So typical of many of our project areas ancient woodland is an important part of the landscape so in addition to the wildflower grassland creation work Many of the farms are actively managing their woodlands to enhance the quality of habitat in the wider landscape. So we've now moved into the next door area of grassland. This is about a 10 hectare block. And what's happening here is we've got an awful lot of yellow rattle. You can see it in this brown haze behind me and it's colonising the whole of the valley floor and the, the valley sides. And it's coming from the adjacent uh, fields that we've sown down to the native wildflower mixture. Uh, and this is a really good sign because what's happening now is the rattle suppressing the grasses which is allowing the red clover and the birds of trefoil and other herbs to gradually colonise. So moving through into the next field, we're in an area of good quality chalk grassland. This is one of the few areas of uh, grassland like this within the valley system. It's about 11 hectares in size and it's exactly this sort of habitat that we're looking to link up with all this neighbouring creation and restoration work. <laughs> 